What's up? It's your boy. And today I'm gonna give you all my little tips on Frontside Crooked Grinds. Yo, so before I get into this, I would really appreciate it. All you gotta do is like the video. Guess what? It's free. It helps out a lot and it lets more people see my videos. Hey, yo, so with the Frontside Crooked Grind, this trick is absolutely beautiful. It's literally one of the funnest tricks to do. It's stylish. I don't know, it's just amazing. And like then you can learn kick flip front crooks, heel flip front crooks, hard flip front crooks, whatever you want to do, but you got to learn how to front crook first. So before you learn this trick, I would recommend that you can front side nose slide and front side nose grind. Totally dialed in. Be super comfortable with front side nose grinds and front side nose slides. And if you got those, you're ready to start the front crook. I'm going to jump straight into the foot positioning that you need to get into the front crook. So. You wanna make sure that your back foot is in the ollie position and that your front foot is like an ollie position but move your foot up a little bit so it's right above the bottom bolt with your toe hanging off just a little bit. The reason you wanna do this is because it helps you when you get into the front crook, the ball of your foot is already in the exact spot so it's right above your wheel and you have like perfect leverage to hold the crook and then pop out. So the next thing you need to do is you need to find yourself a little baby curb and you need to practice ollieing and stalling right on top of your wheel into the front crook. And this helps you because this is a little bit of a harder trick. So if you just try it on a ledge, you're not gonna know the right distance, the right angle, and this helps you dial all that in. So when you're next to the little curb or stair, you wanna make sure that you're parallel to the ledge at a slight angle and get really, really close to the ledge. Another thing that people really mess up on is when they ollie, they try to turn. They try to do an ollie and then turn into the front crook to like dip it out. And all this is gonna do is put you into a nose slide where you're gonna miss and you're gonna nose manual on top of the ledge and you're gonna fall really, really hard. So the trick to that is you ollie straight up. You ollie up and you just land right on top of your wheel. You don't turn your board whatsoever. Another thing that happens, since you're getting into it like that, a lot of people have a hard time pinching the crook. I know when I started to do them, I would land in front crook position, but then I would just straighten out into a nose grind. And the whole point of front crooks is you wanna really get that perfect sideways pinch because that's what the front crook is all about. So to fix that, when you ollie straight up and land on your wheel, you need to turn your shoulders. The pinch is all in the shoulders. Now, to force that, when you're learning, when you ollie in to the sweet spot, just look behind you. Just look to your back shoulder or your back leg and you're naturally gonna just turn into a perfect front crook. Okay, once you're locked into the front crook and you've practiced it a few times, now you need to practice popping out of the front crook. Now, if you land into front crook, you turn your shoulders and you're completely pinched out, the ball of your foot should be right above the wheel with your toes hanging off just a little bit. This is the perfect spot because you have a lot of popping power. To pop out, you kind of push down on the wheel, jump a little bit, give it a little bit of a forward nudge, and you turn your shoulders back towards the ledge. And doing all of this combined is gonna give you a nice little snap off the ledge and then you're gonna roll away. Once you've practiced it on a little curb a bunch of times, you can start taking it to a ledge. One huge tip that I would recommend is try it on a medium sized ledge. Don't try it on a ledge that's too small. It's actually a little bit harder, but also don't try it on a ledge that's super, super tall. Try it on a nice medium sized ledge. Another tip is the hardest part seems to be locking in right and really grinding the front crook and making it pinch really sideways. So I would recommend trying to go really slow and grind the middle of the ledge don't even try to land it. Just try to lock in the front crook, turn your shoulders back so you pinch it out and grind a few feet. And do that for like 10 or 20 tries until you get the feeling of it. And then try to do it at the end of the ledge. If you just try to front crook the very end of the ledge, you might land it and you might think you have the trick. But then when you start to grind it farther on the ledge, you're gonna have that problem of where you're like going to nose grind. So just start off by going really slowly on a ledge that's really waxed. Pop into the front crook sweet spot by alling directly up. Don't try to turn your board. And then when you lock in, turn your shoulders back to get that perfect pinch and just kind of grind it out a little bit and then bail. Once you do that, you can put it all together and hopefully if you follow all these tips, you'll have front crooks. 
that's it for this trick tip. I hope you enjoyed it. I really tried to explain in depth all the things that I had a problem with and the biggest thing was the fact that I tried to ollie too far away from the ledge and turn into the front crook when you just need to ollie vertically straight, get really close to the ledge, and then when you lock in, turn the shoulders to get that pinch, and that's it. So if you could subscribe and like the video, I'd appreciate it, and I guess I'll see you next time.